Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Heather. I go by the Canary Closet on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Tradesy, and ThreadUp. Um, I'm gonna show some more things that I picked up on Tuesday, part two of the haul that I did earlier this week. I got tons of stuff. Um, I've already been selling things for my first haul, so I'm just gonna kind of show you what I got picked up here, and then I'll get these listed this weekend. Um, so first I have these J. Crew mercantile jeans. They're a size 25. They're just a light wash, like high rise skinny jeans. I've really been looking at the jeans and sweaters a lot lately. I will list stuff all year round, but um, I will focus on seasonal items. I mean, when I first go in. This is an Athleta dress. I'm not sure of the size, but it seems like a large or extra large. Um, it's light blue, short sleeve. It's really soft. Then it's got pockets down here. Um, this is an Eileen Fisher. This is definitely an older tag, size medium, but I will still pick it up for some of their jackets and things like that. Um, I can still sell those. So just got the cuffed sleeve, which I think if you unroll it, it'll be um, long sleeve. Um, I have these Madewell jeans. These, I am unsure of the size. Um, I looked around earlier quickly and I couldn't find them, but um, they are from 2018, a little bit of stretch. Oh my gosh, my dog's hitting my tripod. Ellie. <clears throat> anyway, so they got this pleating in the front. Um, just these type of pockets. And then they're a really, really wide leg. So I'm not sure what size they are. But I feel like mm, 30, 29. I'll measure those. A um, couple pair of shoes. These are CVs by J. Crew. So I can clean up this stuff real easy with like rubbing alcohol and stuff. But these are a nine and a half called the Huntington Midi. So those are kind of a cool shoe for fall. And then these are some more of the CVs by J. Crew. So these are like a um, gray wool. These are also size nine and a half. So those are good. And then I picked up these Brooks. Um, let's see, Brooks Launch 4, size nine. These are great for running. Um, if they are in good condition, I always get those. So I look like on the toe and then I make sure I look like here in this part. And then I got a pair of Nikes. Uh, I don't pick up Nikes too much for women, just like the regular ones, but these were in really good condition. They seem like they have barely been worn. So I thought I would grab these and these are a size eight and a half. They're really lightweight, uh, good shoes. Okay, um, these are for my brother. I pick up stuff for him to resell on eBay. And they are Fear of God. I think I might have heard of those from another YouTuber. So they're just a black sweatpants. But they're really thick. You can tell they're really good quality. Um, I think I looked up comps on those for him. And they're at least going for 50 bucks on eBay. So that should be good. I um, just want to stop in the middle here and just say if you like this kind of content, this video, if you go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. I feel like I try to put it maybe somewhere more in the beginning of the video rather than the end. Um, just so everybody kind of sees it in case they don't watch the whole thing. I'm really trying to grow my channel. So stuff like that really helps. Um, this is a Mark by Mark Jacobs purse that I picked up. It's just a small little yellow, uh, leather crossbody. Um, they are only charging $3.99. So it's got that and then just a couple pockets in the inside. It's really clean, good condition. Um, oh, that was not to resell. <laughs> okay, this is an L.L. Bean, which I'm kind of picking up some um, with these taller sizes. So it's a large, tall, like uh, flannel, checkered type of shirt. So anything with the taller sizes um, just does a little bit better for me just because it's more specific. Um, I already sold the one pair of Levi's jeans, so I know I've heard other people talking about picking them up. The other ones I got were 721 high rise. These are the 311 shaping skinny size 32. So I thought great size. And then they have these really cool like uh, detail here all the way down. And those are in really good condition with a great size. So I picked those up. Uh, these are cut from the cloth. 
Toothpick Skinny, size 18. So I'm sending these in to thread up. I send in my um, Cut From The Cloth and Not Your Daughter's Jeans in to thread up a lot, and they seem to do pretty well. Some of them have sold for around $60, $70, and then I get my payout from that. But um, definitely sending those in to thread up. Another pair of Levi's that I'm trying out. These are the 720 High Rise Super Skinny. So size 26, dark wash, uh, stretch, really good condition. Um, I picked up a couple of these bras because they were the same size. So they're Victoria's Spe Victoria Secret Sport VSX. They're both in a bigger size, I believe. Size 38D. So the bigger sizes for bras, no matter what kind, always do better for me. So there's a gray sports bra here. And then this one, I believe, is the same size. 38D, yep. And this one's kind of just more of a black one with the same racer back style. So I'll probably lot those two together to lift. Um, this one I picked up because it was new with tags. It's Victoria Sport. Um, let's see. 32D lightweight sports bra. So the back's kind of got like a clear mesh tape detail. And if you're interested in anything you see here, um, I'll put my email and my Instagram information on the bottom under this video. Um, and you could message me about um, wanting to purchase and I usually can just give better deals when I sell outside of my other platforms, just because I don't have to worry about fees. Um, so this is Victoria's Secret. Again, very sexy push-up bra, 38D. So another bigger size. Um, it's got a fair amount of padding here. Uh, it's really cute, color block style. So that should do well. Um, this, I don't know this brand, but it was brand new. So maybe Rachel, like just spelled a little different. I'm not sure. It's a size small, but I got it mostly for this pattern. It's like got this rainbow glitter uh, stripe on the style all the way down the sleeve and across. So I thought that would be really cute. Somebody would want that. This is a Tori Double Zero, which I think is like a medium eight to 10 um, leopard print top. My daughter, I give a lot of my Tori to her and she resells that on her uh, Poshmark. Another Torrid, size one. So this is like a three quarter sleeve pop over top. It's got the two front pockets, a little bit sheer, burgundy color. So that's really cute. Um, this is a Bowden dress, I believe. This is a size eight. So it's just this long, here's the top, kind of almost like a wrap style. And then it's a long maxi dress, and then it's got this kind of detail here on the bottom. So those do work pretty well for me, typically also. Um, this is a Rachel Zoe red sweater, which I feel like I see a lot, but I'm sending this into thread up. Um, I've sent in a couple things of this brand, and um, I'm able to price it pretty high, but I don't know if I've sold any of it yet, so kind of just experimenting with that brand on thread up. Um, I have got this brand before, Mott and Bow, but I don't remember much about it. But I do know that it's, they sold for me for around $30. So these are a dark wash, like skinny jean. They're in really good condition. Um, they feel like they've got a good amount of stretch. 28 by 30, mid-rise skinny. So I'll pick those up. These are Demi Lovato uh, Fabletics. So still got the tag in there, so I'm able to tell. And then they're just a pink uh, leggings. Just kind of basic, um, except for that, I guess, zipper detail, which is weirdly on the front. I feel like that would be the back, but the tag is right there, so I guess that's the front, but I don't know. Oh, sorry, let's see what sizes are. Extra large, so good size. Okay, one more bag here. Big bag, though. Uh, this is the newest tag, Tags Stitch Fix. Fortune and Ivy, extra large, kind of like a black and white um, tab sleeve top. 
It's lightweight, a little bit sheer. Um, this is a, just a loft sweater, which I don't get too much, but things with animal prints. So these have a couple birds on them. Um, I will pick those up. I sold a French bulldog one really quickly the other day. Um, this is a size large. Um, these are loft beach. So they're size large. It would have been great um, a couple months ago, beginning of summer, but I thought I would still get them because they're super cute. So they've got this like tassel, but I mean, I feel like they could even fit an extra large or even maybe a little bit bigger. Um, it does have a drawstring, but the waist goes out pretty good and they're like wide leg pants. Um, this is pink, ultimate Victoria's Secret. So I will get this sometimes if it's in good condition, they're leggings. Um, it's got that on the back there. They are a size large. Another good reason to pick them up. So. They've just got this like uh, black mesh and pink, light pink detail down here. Uh, athletic leggings. <clears throat> this is cut loose. Again, I found this um, in the other part one of my haul, trying it out for myself. This is a size medium. It seems to be a dress, I think. It's a polka dot and it's got these couple pockets here in the front, like a mini dress. Oh, uh, here's some Lane Bryant shoes. So they're, I don't know if they're real leather, but they're a pointed toe. Let's see what size 10 W. It says all man-made materials, so I'm guessing not leather, but they are really cute um, and they're in really good condition. This is a fig and flower. Um, it's the Anthropology brand, I think. So this is really pretty floral. Um, top, it's got three quarter sleeve that's got elastic on the end, lightweight, would be really pretty for springtime, but could be worn anytime. Whew, this is a Johnny Was. I was really excited to find this. So, um, this is size large. This thrift store that I go to can get very uh, picked over. It's a really popular one in Omaha, I think a West Omaha location. Um, for a while it was my favorite store to go to and then I would go sometimes and it was like I was finding nothing or it was extremely packed. But today there was, I mean, Tuesday when I went, there was tons of things and I found this and I actually found another one. So I was so excited about that. It's really pretty, really pretty embroidery and then just a plain back. Um, this is a pair of locked outlets, size 16. Oops, let me get, so it's kind of got this like tie front, like chambray pants, maybe like a crop style, wider leg. So I picked those up being new with tags. I don't know if I would have picked them up being locked outlet without being new, but um, definitely being new that helped me make my decision. This is a Vince top. So Vince, I've been mm, off and on, uh, blue and black stripe. Kind of a short sleeve, maybe down to the elbow. I most likely will be sending this in to thread up. It is 100% silk. Um, this is a loft sweater, and I actually have this for sale in my closet right now in a bigger size. Um, but this one is an extra small. It's new with tags. It retails for $79.50. But it's got these really pretty um, jewels details and just this fair isle look, crew neck. And I think it's um, like a wool alpaca blend. Let me check. So it's got acrylic, alpaca, mohair, and other fibers. So this will be really cute and pretty for like fall and winter. Um, here's another cute sweater. So this is Banana Republic, which I don't pick up much, but uh, made of Italian yarn. It's striped, ivory and gray, um, really good condition, almost like new. Um, that is a size medium. So I picked that up kind of with the season coming in mind. Here's my other Johnny Was. This was a size extra large, which is great. Um, I found a 2X of Johnny Was once and it was just blue. Um, and I sold it for $90 on eBay, which is kind of crazy to me. But um, I think the bigger sizes also do well. So this is just a really pretty 
top. It's got this detail even down the side here. And then the back, it also has stuff up in the top. So I'm excited about that. Those are probably definitely my best two finds of that trip. Um, this is a Sanctuary 3X. So I don't pick up this brand much, but being a 3X and the style, it's really cute, like a um, stripe, boxy kind of fit top. It's almost like a sweater or like a thermal. This is Affliction. Um, kind of sold at the buckle and things like that. So that's the tag. This is an extra small, but it's a women's like lace hooded lace up long sleeve with kind of that bird logo in the front. Another shoe. This is a smart wool, say small. So I looked it over for holes. I didn't see any in the thrift store, but um, it's just this gray long sleeve, like thermal type top. It just kind of got, I don't know what kind of pattern you would call that. Not really polka dot, but um, so that'd be good. Kind of like a good base layer. This is a Catherine's. So I mentioned in the last one, I've been picking this up. This is a size 4X or a 30 by 32. Really pretty floral design top. Oops, that middle is supposed to be, there we go, tucked in. Um, and it's got like maybe three quarter sleeves. Um, cute for career, business, stuff like that. This is a moth by Anthropology, size medium large. I think I've sold this before. It's almost like a poncho-y, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's like, here's the tag and then one side's short and one side's long. So it might kind of be an off the shoulder asymmetrical type thing. Um, it's open on the one side. So that's cute. And I think that might be linen. It's, it felt like linen. Um, this is an older tag cabbie, but I really like this tweed and all this detail here. Um, and then it's got the gold buttons on the side. Um, it's a size small. And then it's got the gold buttons in the front too. I might sell this myself or I might send it to thread up. Um, this is Ariat, Ariat, kind of like a horseback riding Western brand. So it's got that really pretty detailing on the collar, um, three quarter sleeve sheer top, size large. Um, this is Sundance, size medium, uh, silk cotton blend. So it's just really pretty embroidered, like a gray and a white sheer top. So that's cute. Um, this is a loft size eight. So I don't know if you remember my last video I talked about in thread up how I've sold two gray loft blazers for like a hundred dollars in thread up and I get a payout of 60 or 70. So definitely picking those up. I don't know if they always sell like that, but I'm definitely going to just keep sending them in and trying it out. Okay, this is Pure Jill, which I will pick up sometimes if it's cheap. This is a size medium. It's a hooded white, um, long sleeve top. Um, also, that's I've been sending J Jill in to thread up, so I might send that in there. I don't know. Okay, a couple more things. This is Free People size medium. So I think y'all know that tag. It's sheer, like boho style, long sleeve. And then it's kind of got this back here detail with a little um, tie. And then last thing here is a Gymshark. So it's another great find. It's a size small. It's a really cute teal, like a uh, crop type of sweatshirt. So it's got the logo in the front, but then the back is really cool. It's kind of got this like crossover. So it'd kind of be like an open back on the bottom. So that's really cute. So that's all the stuff I picked up on Tuesday. 
Um, after this, I am officially out of inventory, which is good. I don't like to build up death piles too much. And with my busy season coaching volleyball in the fall, um, I don't usually build those up. So I'll probably get all of this stuff listed maybe over the next few days. Um, and then I will go out again when I've got an open day and stock up again. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.